An update now to a story we first told you about last night. Parents say they weren't told about a controversial change in grading policy at the Atlanta schools. On top of that, they say the new policy is wrong and could actually hurt students. Fox 5's Morse Stiggs explains and joins us from one of the district schools in northeast Atlanta. Morse. Well, what they're saying is it would be bad for a student who hasn't mastered the subject and could get passed along when these new scores are averaged in overall. They also say it's unfair for the students who do not slack off and actually do the work. And they snuck it in so nobody would know because it's not something that any of the parents would sign up for. Teachers or... conference or anything exactly. about that. Yeah, yeah. So we weren't aware of it. Parents whose children attend a public school in Atlanta are upset over a new grading policy. Right, They're only right. worried about the numbers. Right, right. It's not about the students at all. Right. And the bigger problem with that is, what is Johnny actually going to be able to do when he passes on to the next grade? And fundamentally, he can't even start with the basic, simple things because he wasn't able to pass it. That is a terrible idea. The idea, which Fox 5 first told you about Wednesday, is for teachers to stop marking zeros on assignments and tests and replace those grades with a new minimum score a 50. Let's say it's reading. If they're reading at a 30% and you've raised it to a 50%, that's not helping that student at all. Why, the parents asked, were they not told about a significant policy decision? APS teachers just learned about it Monday when their principals briefed them, including a directive to go back and change old grades to the new minimum score. As we can call, recall correctly, when the teachers went to, pr went to prison for changing test scores and everything like that. So what, to me, what's the difference? Verdalia Turner represents the Atlanta teachers. If a student does not complete an assignment, why are you saying that they did with 50 percent it's, it's going to be unfair to the students that actually do the work and all the work for that one student that doesn't do anything or skips a couple assignments to just get that boosted grade now there's a statement from downtown saying a final decision has not been made however that is not what the written directive says no indecision in that directive and that's not what the teachers are being told. So parents, some confusion at APS. We'll stay on top of it and try to figure out exactly what they're going to do and when will they tell the parents. From Northeast Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5. Yeah, Diggs. it's a story a lot of people are paying attention to. Morse, thanks.